Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing on the best of one standard ranked ladder with a Selesnya tokens deck. Basically, we are just going to be taking advantage of some of the new powerful token themed cards from Wilds of Eldraine, like the Pollen Shield Hair, the Regal Bunicorn, and the Virtue of Loyalty. We're going to be pairing those up with things like King Darien, who can protect our tokens, Gallagreeters to get a bunch of additional effects out of the tokens, Elish Norn to stack a bunch of additional damage on the opponent since we're going to be making lots of little creatures, having them uh, take damage when they block them is very good, and we should always have three creatures to sacrifice to her. Rabble Rousing is another way to flood the board, Ao the Dawn's Guide digs for our pieces, and Storm the Festival does the same. This deck is super fun, and it seems very powerful, so if you guys are excited to see this in action, make sure to drop a like, leave a comment, and make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already, as I really appreciate it. I think I'm going to be changing my upload schedule a little bit, since the 7 days a week was getting to be a lot with how much I worked and my disability, so I think we're just going to be dropping down to 5 days a week. I really, really, really enjoy doing this, so I want to keep pumping out videos for you guys, but I do also need to take care of myself a bit. Uh, with all that said, let's hop onto the ladder and see how this does. Alrighty, game one. Um, we definitely need some more land, but I think we're gonna keep it. Let's lead with the forest. And of course, opponents can be playing mono red. Let's get our first greeter down. And they're gonna end the festivities. Okay. Let's go with the wedding announcement. And a mech warfare. We'll take three. Let's go with our Gallic readers. And hair raising. We'll get in for three. We'll make a token. And make a treasure. Reckless impulse. Finds my mountain and a second. So we could double block, or we could throw one in front, or we could just take three. I think we just take three here. Another Kamano. And another. Okay. Let's play our planes, and I think we go with Rabble Rousing. That's a really bad hideaway five, but at least we aren't drawing four lands in a row. Let's get in with two of our creatures, and we can make two more. We'll gain two life, and make a treasure. We'll draw, and flip the announcement. And now we have plenty of blocks. Opponent's gonna impulse. Find a strike and another warfare. Really big epic here. Let's block. Let's go with our Pollen Shield Hair. And we'll gain some life. We'll go to combat. And we'll get in for 9. We'll make a trap. 
treasure and counter up. GG's. Not too bad. Alrighty, next game. Um, and looks decent. Let's try it out. Hopefully, we aren't up against Mono Red again. Went up against that three times in a row on the draw. So, Scoured Barons. That is promising. Let's play the Hive. Let's go with the Brushland and a Wedding Announcement, I think. I wanted to get Darien down, but not really any point in getting his Anthem out early. Opponent's gonna play another dog. And they just pass. Interesting. Let's play the Mirax. And we'll go with Elish Norn. Let's jam. They cut down the might. And they take a pink. And we draw. Soren the Mirthless. They make a vampire, and they pass. And opponent concedes. I mean, I was about to play Darien, and then go with the hair-raising adventure, which would have been absolutely brutal for the opponent to deal with, so I don't blame them. GG's. Alrighty, next game. Um, hand is pretty good. We can go Greeter's Announcement, Elish Norn, which is a very powerful curve. Opponent's going to Anoint with Affliction, which is pretty cool gonna stop a lot of the value that we were gonna be getting out of the early game, so I guess we just get the announcement down, and we will pass. This does give us a little bit of a clue as to what they're doing. The opponent's gonna be a Esper Toxic themed control deck, I'm assuming. Or they might just be using Anoint with Affliction because it's a decent counter spell. Or a decent kill spell, I mean. Let's play the Igonjo and the Elish Norn. make another dude, and we will pass. Memory Deluge. So, opponent is looking for lands and or board wipes. Let's play our thicket, and we'll get in. Let's pass, and draw a card. We could have played the Rowl Rousing there, but if opponent is just going to exile the board or, you know, kill everything, those tokens aren't really going to do anything. Yep. So, away goes the board, and they get a 3-3. Don't really want to say you anything. I mean, getting the Celestis off the field might be good. But if we don't, we can't storm, or we can't guarantee a storm of the festival next turn, and guaranteeing a storm of the festival against control is pretty good. Yep, kind of glad we kept it. I honestly didn't even see the virtue there, so oops. Let's make a treasure. And we will pass. And a farewell. That's rough.
let's go with Elish Norn and King Darien. They discard and negate. And they're going to siphon insight. Well, that's kind of rude. They stole our Mirax. And they're going to cast their Eternal Wanderer. Okay. Surrender now, and we all leave with our lives. They blink Elish Norn. Alright. You're coming with me. Let's go with the Rabble Rousing. And we'll take a Storm. We'll give him Vigilance and plus one plus one. And I guess we'll just go with that Herb Bunny. We'll go three at the Wanderer. And we will pass, and we get back Elish Norn. They're gonna siphon Insight again. And they take a forest. And they blink my citizen, which is a little rude. And they edict. I think we just sacrifice our... Hmm, probably just the rabbit. Let's go to combat. And unfortunately, if we send Darien in, it's just going to get eaten by the incubator. So we're just going to send in Elish Norn. Let's play the Hive. And we will pass. So if opponent wants to wipe the field with the Wanderer, they are going to lose her, which is at least an upside for us. And down she goes. We keep our Citizen. And they trigger the Celestus. Let's attack, and we'll make another dude. And there's a Wandering Emperor. Okay. I hope you're ready to lose. Let your blade do the talking. And they get their free block. Let's go with our fealty. Ouch. That's brutal. This board definitely doesn't look great for us, but the Rabble Rousing plus the Hive means that until we get hit with a Farewell, we should always have a flow of creatures, which is pretty nice. Which means that we can just always keep up the pressure on the opponent, and the Rabble Rousing, the creatures that it makes, they can block. So the unblockable tokens from the Hive, coupled up with the previous turn citizen, should hopefully be able to overwhelm them. Did they make another Samurai? We'll take two. Let's... I mean, we can just save that for after combat. 
So if we attack for two here, they have two free blocks, but we do get two citizens back, which are creatures that can block. So it is a strict upgrade. Let's play a bunny. And they siphon inside again. Alright, back to them. And our regal bunnicorn is huge, so it's gonna wall off these samurai for at least a little while. They put a plus one counter on it. And they play an Elish Norn. Now they can sacrifice some stuff and flip it. Oh. <laughs> nice. Thank you. I forgot that it said it goes to its owner's control. <laughs> That's incredible. Apparently opponent did too. <laughs> GG's. Alrighty, next game. Uh, this hand is decent, let's try it out. If opponent doesn't interfere with us, we can just go greeters, announcement, enter the rabble rousing, which is gonna just be a flood of creatures. And no kill spell, cool. And Glissa is pretty rough. No attacks. Make a dude. And go with the treasure. They're gonna birch you, which is also rough. Have to block with the greeters, which is again unfortunate. I think. We just want to I Gonjo the Glissa here. So let's pass. Another virtue. Okay. And an underdog. Okay. No attacks. Cool. Let's go with the fealty. And I think we just storm the festival. We'll grab a bunny and a wedding announcement. No attacks. We'll make some dudes. The nightmare. Let's discard a land. Yup, that is a huge bunny. Away it goes, and they're gonna scry. Let's block the Glissa, and I think we just take three. Next turn, if we play the U Rousing, we can just make a bunch more creatures. The greeters would allow us to hold open Igonjo, though. I think we just get in with our knight, make another dude, play the greeters. Right, yep, Igonjo costs three. Cool. Um, what do we want? We'll go with treasure to build towards the storm. Let's channel. <laughs> GG's. I mean, they definitely didn't need to concede there. They had two virtues of persistence hanging out in exile. But, uh... Yeah, we were gonna start just stomping on them next turn with the rabble rousing. GG's. 
a couple post-game thoughts for you guys. Um, I really like the deck. It is super fun, and it's very linear, so it's not too difficult of a playstyle to pick up on. Uh, some little interactions that don't seem, you know, too upfront and in your face are the Skrelv's Hive and the Rabble Rousing. If you can get this down and attack while the Rousing is on the field, you can turn your 1-1 one, one Mites into 1-1 one, one Citizens that can block. So it's a little niche, but you can do that if you do need chum blockers. You can turn your unblockable, or your not unblockable, but Mites that can't block into Citizens that can. Storm the Festival is very powerful since it can grab our Virtue of Loyalty and just slam the actual Virtue itself onto the field. Getting this down is going to be pretty much the game ending strat for most games since we have lots of little dudes and we can anthem them a little bit with like the pollen shield hair and the wedding announcements but our, really our biggest thing is the regal bunicorn and that doesn't even have trample so sometimes you just need to have another way to get all your little threats to be really big. Thank you everybody for watching, I appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!